Hey there, it's Elizabeth and welcome back to another ramble session. I hope y'all are doing well. I hope you had a great week and a wonderful weekend. Um, yeah, we had a mixture. It was, yeah. Um, anyway, uh, I'll get into that in a second. So what you're looking at here is my July 2021 YouTube schedule, right? So I've been filming up a storm. I've been trying to get a bunch of videos filmed so that I can have a video every day of the work week. Um, lots of different things um, going on, you know, tutorials, my, of course, my collage weekly planner, my ramble sessions. Um, these are question marks because I'm not sure if I'm going to be in town, get into that story in a minute. Um, some journal with me's, clean off my dad's glue books, uh, magazine harvest. I mean, lots of different things going on. So, yeah, so I had to do that because it was, I was confusing myself, you know. And generally, I just, you know, when I come in here to work on something, I go ahead and turn on the camera and bring y'all along. And, um, yeah, and then they just get uploaded and they just go into the queue as the next video. So if you're curious about what else is on my video, aside from these yammering ramble sessions, well, most of my videos are yammering. I mean, let's get real, folks. But if you're curious to what else I have on my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and notification bell. You'll get notified every time a new video comes out. Um, and like you, I don't know, you might have seen or couldn't see, I don't know, the calendar because it was written in pencil. Yeah, lots of different things. Journal with me's, flip throughs, um, glue booking, magazine harvesting. Um, yeah, just a lot of different things. So last week, as I was trying to relax, I did do a magazine harvest that'll be coming out in a few weeks. Um, and then just sat out in the living room and cut, you know, fussy cut some images. Love this girl so much. Isn't she beautiful? I don't know if it's glary or not, but isn't she nice okay yeah I just you know I did a few little things you know cut out a few things this is for a black and white journal I've yet to make as is this one as is this one yeah so lots of different you know images that I started cutting out words and whatnot um, look at her isn't she beautiful yeah so I still have this whole pile to go through of things I would like to cut out so I've been doing that um, just trying to relax. I find that when I do get super stressed out, I do like to just harvest magazines, you know, just come in here and go through the plethora of magazines that I have that I need to clean out. So last week, yeah, my husband, um, we found out that the medicine that's in his pain pump, uh, is not working for him. He's had some atrocious adverse reactions to it and one of the reactions is like um, dizziness and like excruciatingly painful headaches and I guess at first they thought it was a postural puncture now they're thinking that no it's actually the medicine and blah 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 so last week he took a pretty bad tumble in the bathroom um, my daughter and I were out on the patio and like I don't even know. I don't even know what happened. I'll spare you the gory details. Uh, long story short, he hit his chin, he chipped two teeth, he hit his forehead, and then smacked his head on the tile floor. So, yeah. So we had to deal with that. Um, yeah. So... Now we're in the process of deciding whether or not we're going to be able to go on vacation or not, um, you know, which is a complete bummer because we've all been looking forward to it for months. But, you know, my husband, of course, his health and safety and all of that uh, is in the forefront. So we've got to figure out what's going on with that. Um, and then, of course, on top of all that, like our nephew's been here for which has been wonderful having him here for like over a month now, but we were going to be going to this reunion and taking him to, of course, be reunited with his family. So if we end up not going on this trip, I, I don't know. We're going to have to put him on a plane. I'm not really sure. Somehow he's got to get up back to his parents. So 
we'll see what, you know, what goes on with that. I don't really know. So, yeah, we're just in a kerfuffle here. We are just in, in a kerfuffle. So what's been going on journal-wise? Well, I have to tell you, obviously, after the week we've all had, because we did have to take um, a trip to the hospital, not because of the fall. I, I think he's fine from that. He didn't have, you know, we watched him through the night and all that kind of stuff. So um, he didn't need stitches that I'm aware of. Um, anyway, so yeah, uh, needless to say, I've not been in the mood to do very much of anything aside from just sitting and mind numbingly going through magazines. So, <laughs> um, this is my little book here that was, uh, heavily inspired by Diane Fago and she does like these little morning collages, which are super fun. I have not been doing morning collages, but which was my intention. I just haven't been able to, but I do come in here and just take a few little, you know, you guys have seen this, but I take just a few little images and, um, you know, whatever strikes my fancy and, and put them down. I love this one. Oh gosh, don't I wish I was there. And then this is the latest one I did, which is just one whole piece. It's from like a Dolce and Gabbana, I think. I don't know how you say it, but I love these they're just they're so cool the images so anyway this was the last one I think you saw and uh, yeah so I did this one and these are just a lot of fun to just come in here and just relax you know and just pick out a few images glue them down how you like them put some words on it and call it macaroni you know and you just have this beautiful collage page so that's been a lot of fun and I've been enjoying working in this little tiny book you know because like I said, you only pick a few little images out and some words and put it together. Yeah, I've, I've been enjoying it. So there's that one. And then this is my pretties journal, which um, I made on a ramble session, I believe, a few weeks ago. Um, and it's just made out of a gift bag. I had this large gift bag that I was not going to use. Um, yeah, so I made a junk journal. I do believe this is my first ever junk journal that like, I, I don't know. No, it, it's actually my first. Yeah, I think it's my first junk journal, meaning I have taken stuff that is around my room, you know, like old pieces of copy paper, or this was like a printable from a friend that she put online, some jelly plating that was sent in happy mail, old scraps of, you know, my dyed paper, old scraps of smush paper, you know, and I'm just playing. It's just a playbook. It's to put lots of different pretty things that I have in it. I do have a box of, um, pretties you know and so things that people have sent me or whatever the case is so I've just I want to put them in one central location and just have fun with either collage or whatever the case is so I did have a question about this particular page I think somebody had asked me where do I find my stickers and it could have been on Instagram or YouTube I can't remember but um, oh, and if you don't follow me on Instagram, go ahead. The link is down below or my handle or whatever you call it. Um, I can't remember if it's a link or not. I don't know. But anyway, um, there are no stickers on this page. This was actually this right here. I loved the image. Um, and it was actually from a car magazine like a junk mail car magazine I think it was like a Chevy magazine or something and I just really enjoyed the drawing and the 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 art on it so I used that as one of the pages yeah it's from a Chevy book but look how nice that is it's just beautiful you know this Asian themed with a car in it <laughs> anyway this was like a die cut that I received in Happy Mail. This I received in Happy Mail is just organza ribbon that I just, you know, took to my sewing machine and made a ruffle out of. This right here, I think maybe she was referring to this. And this actually comes from a, te like a teacher create created magazine or something. It's like a sales magazine that teachers get. And inside, um, they advertise like, you know, bulletin board, things to make bulletin boards, um, 
yeah, borders for bulletin boards, a themed classroom setup stuff, you know, that kind of thing. So that's where I found this. Um, yeah, and then in here, I'm just putting whatever makes me happy. Although I have to admit, this right here does not make me happy. I It was just a lot of stuff thrown on the page. It's way too dark for me. I'm not in love with it. I might either take it off or cover it up. I might try to, yeah, I can just peel it off. Yeah, I'm just not a fan of it, you know. And what I can do is if I do decide to peel it off, I can just cut it up and make it into journaling cards. Like, I think I would like that better. Yeah. Because it's on a magazine, and I don't think, I don't know. I mean, if it tears the page, like, I don't really care. You know what I mean? I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see what goes with that. But this is more my speed and my style and what I like. Just very simple. Very simple. I find mixed media art to be very difficult for me. I don't know what it is. Anyway. Or like this. This was given to me in Happy Mail. And um, yeah, I just, you know, layered up a few little bits that I had. Washi tape, this, and it's um, glued onto... A, oh, this is just like a paper piece of paper bag. Yeah, it's glued onto a jelly print that I received in Happy Mail. So that this is more the type of thing that I like to do. Just a lot of gluing, you know. I did this here, just playing around with watercolors. This is just regular copy paper, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, so um, what else did I do? Oh, I did this one right here. I think I cut this out maybe for a prompt or something. And then I saw it in my little, one of my little bit boxes here. So I thought, oh, that looks cute on this green paper back here because the greens and all that. So yeah, this is more my speed, right? A cute little picture on decorative paper with words. That's, that's how I like it. Nice and simple. This is not um, simple. I did enjoy doing it though. All of these are from my my um, Happy Mail bit box. This I got from my sweet friend Barbara. It was like a cluster, like this whole thing here, minus that. Yeah, this is like a Tim Holtz flower. This these uh, um, gold stickers were from a Happy Mail. Just some bits of jelly paper and the inside of an envelope. This was from Happy Mail. This was, yeah, so I just, you know, kind of like a little cluster thing. Even this background paper came from Happy Mail. I do believe. Yeah. So I did that one. I also did this one right here, which you would have seen on my Instagram. If you follow me on Instagram, this was a lot of fun. Um to do this is a magazine clipping, this tissue paper, little bits and scraps. And then this I found on Pinterest and I just kind of kiss cut her out. And then of course words. Um, yeah, like I said, that's more my speed, like images and words, I don't know. So yeah, that was a lot of fun. And I don't think I've done anything else in here. And this to me is more like a true, um, like junk journal, if you will, you know, it's just bits of stuff that have been hanging around my desk, you know, um, I love these. These were like collage printables that I, um, had got offline from a sweet friend. That was, I do believe this was from Debbie's journals. Yeah. Just bits of scrapbook paper. This was also from her printable jelly print. This is just like, whatchamacallit, like, um, tone sketch paper, you know, so just bits of stuff, right? All sewn in together. And then I can just play with the pages, whatever strikes my fancy. And it's been a really fun book to work in, putting all my pretty, pretty stuff in it. So that's been fun. And then this is my July, August book, my creative daily journal book. Um, I do have a video on how I made this. I do believe it's called Make a Journal in a Day. I like composition books. Uh, I like to alter them. In this case, I just simply took out the composition pages and I sewed in two signatures on my own. There's the back, very plain. Um, yeah. 
and that that's how I like doing my creative journals they're I don't know I like the size of it these pages inside uh, the signatures are made up of a flow book this is just scrapbook paper that I found fun um, yeah here's my opening to July page and then I've been keeping up fairly well with my journaling I do need to go back and do these two I know that I was on the computer a lot this was a weekend page so I'm probably gonna just do like a double page spread and yeah I still just need to go back and do that I do have my notes for these two days though and then this was the Janet Nash prompts that I did that was super fun still have to go back in and add the journaling but um, that was that was a lot of fun to do um, and I'll put the link below. Then this is where oh, my husband took his terrible fall and what a nightmare and yeah, all that. You'll see all this in a flip through. I just heard something. Okay, I don't know. Okay, so this this was actually this past weekend. My daughter and I went out and about and I'm going to do kind of like a haul video for that but that's not going to come out for a few weeks it'll probably replace one of my uh ramble sessions in the coming weeks because um we might or might not be out of town so yeah we'll see what happens with that but i am staying pretty current um in my book and i actually designed this page before i left so i have a lot now to put on here which i'll probably put you know, like, um, what are they called? Like tip-ins and stuff like that. But yeah, my daughter and I went out and about to a bunch of places. She wanted to go to a bunch of the Goodwills in our area to um, see if she could find more books that she needs for her class sets, you know. So she needs about 25 books for a class set. And, you know, they, they're books that they use year after year after year. And so they get beaten and battered and you name it. And so, yeah, she needs to replace some of those. So we did that. And then along with that, we went to Michael's because I had gift cards and she wanted to get some more of those rolling cart things for school. Um, and we also went to Barnes and Noble because I had, again, gift cards. Um, and we were up in that area. I don't often get up in that area. So I thought, well, while we're up there, and then we also went out and had some snacks at Longhorn. So that was nice. It was just a really nice day together, just the two of us. And then when I got home, my son was home. So that was nice to see him. He had just got back a few days ago from his trip to Chicago. And yeah, and so that was really nice. It was really nice to see him. And then in the evening, oh my word, you guys, in the evening, my, my two kids had gone out together to... Um, I don't know, do whatever, something together to go eat together or something. And so, and my husband was resting on the couch. So my nephew and I came in my craft room because in my craft room is where I have a Wii. This is where um, I used to use the Wii a lot for exercise and stuff. It's very low impact, but it's super fun to do. And um, I really need to get back into it. But um, yeah, we played for a few hours. We played... Um, the Wii Sports thing, I think it's called Wii Sports. So much fun. It has tennis and baseball and bowling, which is my favorite. Bowling, um, boxing. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we did one boxing match and it about wore the both of us out. We were we were sweating up a storm in here. But the bowling was super fun. It was just really fun. And I'm super sore. I mean, is that not sad or what? Yeah, I'm super sore. And like when we bowl, I have to switch hands you know so I bowl a couple of rounds with my right hand and then I switch and bowl a couple of rounds with my left hand because I want my soreness to be even on both sides of my body <laughs> so anyway but it was well worth it we had loads of fun and yeah it was it was super enjoyable and maybe we'll play later today as well but that's been a lot of fun so hopefully um we're gonna you know hopefully my husband is going to start feeling better very soon I mean, the doctor claims that his dizziness and headaches should be um, going away soon because um, they they couldn't stop the medication completely, um, but they could lower it a lot. And so 
That's what he claims, that you should start feeling better in a few days. Yeah, we've heard that before. Um, so anyway, trying to be hopeful, trying to be hopeful. Um, yeah, so anyway, that's where we're at now. So I might be gone in for a few weeks. I might not be gone for a few weeks. We're going to have to see. So that's what's been going on here. And yeah, I think, um, I don't know, I might try to work on, you know, my pages again. I am really trying hard to keep current in my book. I was so proud of myself for keeping current in June and doing every single page. I want to do the same thing for July. Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll see what happens. Oh, that needs to be glued down. So we'll see what happens on the journal front, but I hope y'all are having, you know, a great summer. <clears throat> And I hope y'all are journaling as well. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for sharing your time with me. Ooh, there's one more thing I wanted to tell you too. And I should have looked her up. Ugh. Um, Messy Missy Creates, I believe, okay? So she just came out with this video. She's new to me, her name is Melissa. And I found her through AJ's Inspired Life. And um, I was just watching a video of hers last night and what she did was she made her own daughters, okay? Um, and she's getting, like, they were actually, the daughters that she was using in her video, and I'll put the video link below, but what she was using was, um, like, the, I don't know what they're called. You'll have to watch the video. They're like for stamps, you know? They have like this triangle sponge on the top and you use them to, you know, instead of lick the stamp or lick the envelope glue or whatever, you know, you use that to wet the the sticky stuff, right? So she was using that and she um, used food coloring and some of them were alcohol ink, like she made alcohol ink into a dauber. And, but she also used food coloring and, um, water and she did a yellow portion of the water on the bottom the alcohol inks went straight through the page bled through which um yeah I mean it all depends on what kind of effect you want you know what I'm saying but like the daubers the the one that she did in yellow which was just water and yellow she said that it did ve it, it hardly ghosted at all on the next page or like seeped through the, to the next page so really great idea to just um you can get these kind of daubers on amazon you know and then just make your own you know what i'm saying so yeah um i ended up just getting just ordering from amazon bingo daubers because um a i'm lazy and b i had gift cards so i went ahead and did that and they're working fine but if you're looking for a less expensive solution you could just get your own daubers and then do it yourself, you know, cause they, they worked really, really well. And so, yeah, I will put her link down below, um, to, to that video that she did. So yeah, make your own if you, if you can possibly. So great idea, Melissa. Thank you so much for sharing that. And I hope y'all go over there and check out her, her videos. So yeah, all the links will be below as per usual to anyone I've mentioned that has a YouTube channel. Be sure to um, subscribe and click the notification bell here on my channel so that you can get notified the next time a new video comes out, which is pretty much every day of the work week. So I hope y'all enjoyed that. Thank you so much for sharing your time with me and I will talk to y'all real soon. Bye for now.